Hey guys, uh, back in my lazy cooking. So, uh, do some sort of Chinese uh, inspired meals for the week. So, uh, made a little marinade. Again, we'll go the same amount of chicken they had before. It'll be uh, eight pounds total. That'll give me again all my meals, all my snacks. But uh, kind of what we threw in there, some ground ginger, pepper flakes, onion powder, black pepper, oyster sauce, minced garlic, soy sauce, uh, sriracha, and rice vinegar. So again, if you don't like one of those things, don't put it in there. Didn't really measure anything. Uh, mostly soy sauce, uh, lots of sriracha, I like spicy, um, some oyster sauce, and then kind of the garlic and everything else is kind of thrown up on top and we'll throw the chicken in there for about an hour to two hours of marinade and then we're gonna bake it okay so uh, it's been a couple hours we got uh, chicken sheeted on the pan um, I'm setting it to about 375 uh, it'll probably take anywhere from 20 30 minutes we'll check on it at 20 check for temperature check for doneness um, and then after that let it cool and divide it up evenly all right so just over 30 minutes I think in the oven uh, 375 uh, I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes and then start dividing it up evenly all right guys uh, got Tupperware got the chicken we are going to uh, start cutting everything up, dividing into our meals. So again, for me personally, it's going to be five ounces per meal. You might be a little different, smaller, less ounces, bigger, more ounces. Um, probably no more than five ounces for just about anybody. Uh, that'll be ten five-ounce meals, and then um, and the smaller ones, three nine three three-ounce snacks. So these will be nine ounces a piece. All right, so we got everything cut up and divided. So one, two, three, four, five, five days of protein uh, as far as snacks go. So again, these are all nine ounces. Um, so I look a little bit more full, but that's three three ounce snacks. Um, and then again, we got 10 of the five ounce meals as well. So we'll cover these up, get them in the fridge, and then get on to the um, protein, or I'm sorry, the carbohydrates and fat. So basically veggies um, and everything else there. All right, so um, got all the chicken away in the fridge. Now time to move on to the veggies. So make a little stir fry. I actually have a wok, um, but just gonna use again a big giant stew pot because again, otherwise uh, we're doing multiple batches. And again, this is meant to be lazy and easy and quick as possible. So we got mushrooms, um, couple heads of broccoli, broccoli crowns, uh, some bell peppers, whole bunch of green beans again, lots of asparagus. Um, onion, carrots, bok choy, and again, this is the um, same stuff we put on the chicken. So just made some more of it. Seems like a lot right now, but again, for all the veggies, it's going to be um, pretty much just about what we need. There's no real recipe; just kind of made it up. It's again, it's got soy sauce, um, black pepper, onion powder, some sriracha, chili flakes, a um, little bit of lime juice, oyster sauce, and I actually put a little bit extra some mustard in there. Uh, for a little bit of zing, some Dijon, Dijon mustard. So, we'll cut all this up and get everything in a giant pot. All right, so we got everything in here. Looks like a ton of food. Uh, most of this is going to cook down uh, we're gonna basically put this on high for a little bit uh, get everything going and dump our sauce on so grab this guy um, again there is also um, oil so cooking oil in the bottom so that will be our fat for each meal so again remember we are trying to get a carbohydrate a protein and a fat at each one of the meals so 
Again, so once we divide it up evenly, uh, we'll contain all three of those. So uh, once we get this going, we'll dump our sauce all over top and get it going until everything's soft and tender, but again, not too mushy. And then we'll divide it evenly. All right. So like I said, cooked down quite a bit. Um, ended up adding a little bit more uh, sriracha, some more, a little bit more soy, black pepper, and onion powder. Um, again, uh, just kind of tasted it. Tastes a little bland, so we added up, added a little bit more, pumped it up a little bit. Uh, so we're gonna take this, divide it out in between everything, and we'll be done. Okay, so we got all of our chicken out. We're just gonna start kind of scooping everything in there, divide it up evenly. Oh, you got everything divided up. I uh, just kind of saw the end there. So the broth, uh, since there is mushrooms, bok choy, um, broccoli, a little bit more water-based uh, greens in there, um, you are going to have a little bit more broth. And green meal is good. So make sure you get that into your meals as well. So it does have the cooking liquid or that fat that we put in the meals as well. So. Cover them up, put them in the fridge, you're done. All right guys, uh, that's pretty much it. Hopefully uh, it was easy to follow, a little bit more Asian inspired than the last time we did, a little bit more uh, Mexican. So still same basic principle, keep it simple, keep it easy, just basic ingredients, whole foods. Um, again, making sure we get that protein, that carbohydrate and that fat in each one of those meals. Um, lastly, Bronx, our helper, sit. See if we can catch one. There we go, good. Uh, again, if you have any questions, let us know. Get, grab a coach. Uh, they can definitely help you out. And we'll see you soon.